Welcome back to this recon. Long time no see. Where have you been or where have I been? Don't worry, I am back for another recon. This time for the Echelon Racing League Season 24-25 and it's here on my wish. Stage 1 is in California. It's on the Golden Gate Bridge route. That's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's dive in. Transition time. All right, good to see you again. Yes, the Echelon Racing League is back, the home of legitimate and competitive racing, not just for elites, but for the community as well. Yep, everyone can get involved in this Echelon Racing League this time around. The elites, in fact, are gonna start from an FTP of anything upwards of 4.2 watts per kilogram. Category B, that's me. For the community riders, anything between 4.2 and 3.3 watts per kilogram, and then category C, anything below 3.3 watts per kilogram. So there really is something for everyone. Of course, racing on my wish is always interesting and it's dynamic and it's as close to e IRL racing in terms of our dynamics as you can get. None of that fake sticky draft. You want real racing, then it's here on my wish and it's with the Echelon Racing League. As I've said, today is all about the Golden Gate Bridge. We are gonna be doing more recons, covering the rest of these. And don't forget, if you want to get involved in the USA National Championships for Cycling Esports, again, whether you're elite or an age group athlete, you need to be doing an Echelon Racing League event to be able to qualify for those national championships. If you want to register, go and check out echelonracingleague.com. All the information is there. You do need to do a MyWoosh Power Passport test before you're eligible to race. But again, all the information is there on Echelon Racing League, but also you can find some information on mywoosh.com. Right, enough talking. As you can tell, I've recently ridden this. I'm still warm, freshly showered. So let's take a look at that footage of this recon and we'll have a look at the course in a bit more detail. Alrighty, so we're sat here in the pens waiting to start the Golden Gate Bridge circuit. 12.1 kilometers per lap. So as I said, 36.3 kilometers for the whole race this. You will focus your attention predominantly on the top right hand corner of the screen there. That's where the elevation profile is. As you can see, there are a few rollers early on, but they're super short. If you're tucked in the wheels, utilizing that draft, all be good, you can sit there. And again, it's all gonna be about this climb. That's my prediction for this. And again, this climb is two to three minutes. We spend a bit of time in the city here, then we're gonna go over the Golden Gate Bridge before we start to work away towards that climb. All right, so here it is, this climb. Kilometer 5.8 is the start of the climb. It's only a kilometer long. So the end of the climb on the first lap is gonna come at kilometer 6.8. One kilometer, that's it. I rode this somewhere around about 4.0, 4.4 watts per kilogram average, and it took me three minutes to get to the top. Of course, I was riding solo. There was no draft, no other riders around me. So I'm expecting most riders to get over this sub three minutes. So it's gonna be punchy. It's gonna be pretty intense for two to three minutes. But if you hold on to those wheels, push it hard over the top, of course, then we've got a little bit of respite as we descend the other side. And that's where I want to spend a little bit of time just focusing and talking to you about these dynamics. All right, so we're on to this descent and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the dynamics. There's two areas on screen that I'm watching at any point when I'm racing on my whoosh. It's the speed in the bottom left-hand corner just over that mini map there. And again, monitoring the speed, making sure that when I hit that decline, 
the speed is going up. You'll see here that I can, I can take a little bit of power reduction and the speed will still increase. Of course, because I'm descending, right? But the road does flatten off once or twice here. So again, it's those moments when you see the elevation on the top right hand side, start to reduce and flatten off a bit, applying that power and making sure you're sticking with that group. I don't see any really benefit in pushing on too much here and trying to cause brakes on the descent. It doesn't really work because the speed will naturally increase with the pack anyway. So sit in the wheels, just monitor just in case. And then once we get back onto the flat roads, we go back over the bridge towards the city. All right, so this finish line is actually quite tricky. Of course, we're gonna spend a little bit of time in the city, just going around this city loop here. And then you've got this long straight. You turn on a left turn onto this long straight. On the first lap, it's a kilometer 11.4. Of course, you're gonna get two opportunities before that last lap to see the finish line. You've got this long road ahead of you. And then right at the end of that road, you've got this left hand corner. You take the left and then pretty much immediately that start finish gantry is there. So on the last lap, you really need to be paying attention and watching for those moves. Whether you're gonna go early or you're gonna go leave it late, you won't necessarily see that banner on the road in front of you. Of course, you can use that mini map in the bottom left hand corner and you will see the yellow line across the road indicating that's where the start finish banner is. So that's it, that's the route. Three laps, Golden Gate Bridge, 36.3 kilometers. The whole of the Echelon Racing League promises to be a fantastic series. Of course, going from December through to January, plenty of stages. And of course, part of the qualifiers for the USA National Championships, both elite and age groups, male and female, across the board for cycling esports. So if you want to be involved in that, it is important you ride at least one of these Echelon Racing League events here on the MyWoosh platform. I'm going to be putting out more recons as we work our way through this series. Again, go and check out echelonracingleague.com. Don't forget to come back for these recons and we'll see you soon for more cycling esports action.